Noel. He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. Proverbs 18, 22. I know I've found what is good and that is you. <laughs> I've said this a million times, but I'm so excited to marry you. Who knew that a donut trip and perfect timing made this work out? Yeah, I don't need nothing with you as my love. I don't need the sky. I don't need its thunder. Jalen Christian Drath, my heart is so full of joy and love today, knowing that you become my husband and I become your wife. I am so grateful that you are the one God has gifted to me to marry and spend the rest of my life with. You are an encourager, a light, and a leader. You are welcoming, kind, generous, loyal, bold, faith-filled, handsome, hardworking, smart, silly, and so much more. I will love you as Christ loves the church. I will love you. I will live as a servant and put my needs second to serving and loving you. I will lead us in love towards our Father. I will affirm and not shame you and who you are and who you're going to be. I promise to listen to you more than I speak because you know this is an issue for me. <laughs> I will pray with you and for you. I will urge you to pursue ministry, and through our happiest and saddest moments, I will be your support and encouragement. There's not another person in the world who I would rather be with for the rest of my life. You are so beautiful, and I'm overjoyed to spend every moment with you as long as we both shall live. <laughs> I love you, Jalen. Jalen and Noel, the covenant that you are about to make is meant to be a sacred expression of your love to each other. It is also meant to reflect to a watching world the unbreaking relationship and love between Jesus and his church. It is God showing to us how much he loves us, how he pursues us, how he cares for us, and how he desires us. And so all this today is profound. In this moment, you are modeling for us a shadow of what, of what God has done for us in Jesus. That God has pursued us and won us and calls us to be his bride as his people. 
So we would be remiss if we came here and did all this today, but didn't have our eyes and our hearts tuned to what's really going on underneath all of it. gives this woman to be married to this man, her mother and I. And here's how he defines it in scripture, that to reflect the glory and might of God in marriage, the man would love the woman, Noel, by sacrificially giving himself that is Ephesians 5. And Noel, he is asking you to love Jalen, but not just with any kind of love, but with the kind of love that reflects the church's heart for Jesus. So he defines it like this, that the woman would love the man, Jalen, by respecting him. That the woman would support the man as he seeks to lead gently and sacrificially. And that the woman would love the man as a friend. That is Titus chapter 2. Listen closely. Be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. Jalen and Noel, your vows are a covenant and a true reflection of God's unbreakable love for us in Jesus. You ready to make those vows? Turn and face each other. I, Jalen, I, Jalen, take thee, Noel, take thee, Noel, to be my lawfully wedded wife, be my lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for better, for worse, for worse, for richer, for richer, for poor. In sickness, in sickness and in health, in health. To, love, to love and to cherish, and to cherish. Till, death do us part. till death do us part according to God's holy ordinance according to God's holy ordinance keep going again yeah. <laughs> that's you man you're still on according to God's holy ordinance I didn't know I was still on you that's good I pledge myself to you I pledge myself to you and to you only. And to you only. Did you focus on You got it, man. That's perfect, right where your focus should be. Do we have the rings? All right. These rings symbolize God's perfect love. It is an unbroken circle, which speaks of the everlasting nature of God's covenant and love, having no beginning and no end. In the same way, as you give these rings to one another, they will be a continual, continual reminder of the unending love and covenant that you have pledged to one another today. Noel, place the ring on Jalen's finger and repeat after me. I give this ring to you. I give this ring to you. My beloved. My beloved. My friend. My friend. My husband. My husband. Whenever I see this ring. Whenever I see this ring. I will remember the promises. I will remember the promises. We have made here today. We have made here today. As the first act of being a married couple, Jalen and Noel have decided to take communion together. The Lord Jesus, on the night of his arrest, took bread. And after giving thanks to God, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's coming. We're real soon, brother. It. We're real soon. And the, and the good part is coming, okay, dude? Just one more. Good job. 
It really is coming. Get ready, all right? By the authority that is vested in me, by the Church of Christ Jesus and the state of Oregon, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jalen, you can now kiss your wife. (laughs) Therefore, what God has joined together, let no person separate. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jalen and Noel Droth. Great moments are born from great opportunity. <laughs> and that's what you guys have here tonight. That's what you've earned here tonight. If you asked her 10 times, she might say no nine of them. <laughs> but not this time. Not tonight. <laughs> um, to know well, I'd like to say welcome to the family. And, you know, we're just so happy to have you as part of our family now. and. With that, I'd like to raise a glass to uh, Noel and Jalen. Um, just hoping for lifelong happiness for you guys and continual growth just as a couple and, and in your faith and doing the great things that I know you guys are, are capable of and just wishing you guys success um, in whatever you guys take on. So, cheers. Love you, Connor. Cheers. cheers. Round of applause for Connor while Jordan's coming up. I am Jordan. I'm Noelle's oldest sister, and I have a few words to share with you. I have to confess that I am a planner and a prayer. So I actually started writing this speech on March 17, 2017. And it started as a letter to Noelle's future husband. So it goes like this. Dear Noelle's future husband, I'm writing to you with the faith that you do exist. And I will get to meet you one day. I have prayed for you, and now you are here. And Jalen, I now know your name. You are the one that she wants to build a life with. And so you are a very special person to me. You are the man that you and I both have been hoping for and praying for and believing for. And we are thrilled that you're going to be in our lives for good. And we're just praising God that he brought your stories together. So we do have a short presentation for you. Um, me and my husband, Mitch, have a presentation that is called The Evolution of Jalen and Noelle's Love. So we would just like you guys to turn around and we will get prepared and you can just enjoy yourselves. Okay guys, so I'm going to teach you how to get any guy to come over and talk to you or ask you for your number or whatever. Okay, so step by step, you're going to glance and then you're going to look him up and down. You're going to smirk. You're going to smile and then get a little bit sassy and then just look away. In my head, I know what you're thinking now. To the ground and pulled out a ring and said, Mary me, Juliet, you never have to be alone. I love you. Ready? 
Crocodile Alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior Crocodile Alligator. This is going to be a little bit harder because, um, yeah, I always tell people I taught for 30 years, but I was kind of dealt with 10 and 11 year olds, and I don't see any of those people in my crowd except for Mitch and maybe Joe. No, I'm just, I don't know you guys well enough, but anyway, 10, 11 year olds. No, I don't have any of those present. So, um, you know, I just kind of want to share a few words with you guys about how extremely kind of proud I am of Jalen. Um, I think there are a lot of times I didn't tell him enough, but um, there's just been a lot of things that have happened in our lives that um, I just, I just, from the start, I was just extremely proud. Um, how we're supposed to be role models for our kids, right? And um, I almost feel like at times Jalen has been a role model for me. And if if you're wondering where I'm going with this, it really is about for me is more about um, you know the Lord. And God fearing, he's a God fearing man. I believe it. I was watching him today when Pastor Paul was speaking, and he was very focused. I I, I have a belief in that. And um, Jalen, you don't. You're you're you better role model to me, and that's opposite. Um, two things I remember. You you asked me recently, are you and Mom praying together? I remember that. Um, and then there'd be times you come home before you met Noel, and you're up doing. Uh, Bible studies early in the morning, like, like really early, and I'm like, uh, I don't do this, and I'm gonna you guys do this, but that was that was pretty hard. So, Noel, holy cow, welcome, <laughs> welcome to our family. Um, you know, we've had, I mean, not a ton of time together, right? Not lots of time, but um, there's some things that I've learned in our short time together, and I just want to um, read a couple of these things to you. I, the strong faith to me is incredible. It's, it's really, really, really incredible to me that, um, as Pastor Paul said, and kind of like Carl and I, it's not, a, it's not a mystery that you guys were meant to be together. This was planned, and um, I really appreciate your strong faith. Um, I love that you're really frugal. I know you can't believe that coming out of my mouth, but, um, and that you love to have fun. I love that. And something somebody else noticed with, with you also is you're a really good listener incredible listener and I know that as a school teacher because I've had like a lot of kids in my career and I feel like I've had like five good listeners 10 11 year olds, <laughs> and you are a really good listener so anyway even to me when I have just babble I would like to propose a toast to the Mr. and Mrs. Droth <laughs> hear ye hear ye That's great. but uh, as your dad was saying you know, uh, we're thankful for, for Jalen. He is a godly young man. He's a respectful young man. He's purposeful. He's driven. He's a lot of fun. So it's, uh, it's a real blessing for us. So, you know, but, um, you know, we've had conversations with a lot of family and friends leading up to this time, up to this wedding, and uh, just reminds us what we know about Noelle. That, um, you know, she's joyous. She's got this childlike spirit. She's a delight to be around. Uh, she has love and compassion for her family and others. She's uh, just a great friend, as many of you know. You know, and um, she's just she loves the Lord. She's committed to growing in her faith and those around her. And I love that her and Jalen are also doing working with youth and young life. Um, that's just true blessing for us. So, from her mother and I, it's been a complete joy to raise our daughter and see her flourish, see the impact that she's had, uh, especially on those around around her and for His kingdom. And it's a true blessing um, to see our daughter today. She's been so happy, but she's been patient, she's been faithful, prayerful to be uh, joined with Jalen. It really is. So, in the um, book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 9, it says, Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. So, folks, raise a glass with me, and let's cheer these two on and celebrate with them today.
future.